Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, we will be covering foundation, sewing methods, and a couple of different techniques. So I started off by figuring out where and how I want my part to be. And then based off my part, I section off how much hair I want to leave out around my part and on the sides. After I assess my leave out, I like to go in and place my anchor braids as close as possible to my leave out. I personally think that the anchor braids are the most important part of your foundation, which I'll show you why later in a video. This video is also sectioned off in different segments. Timestamps are listed in the description box below. Here I'm just showing you how to connect or attach your braids for your foundation. This will take a lot of repetition but it's also good to know when trying to achieve a flat and seamless install. The trick is to add the previous braid to the middle strand of the current braid. Again. I took the previous braid and conjoined it with the hair between my middle and pointer finger, which is the middle strand of the current braid. When finishing up your foundation, you will have two completed braids, one on the left, another on the right. Add one braid to the middle strand, then braid a few times before adding the other braid. In results, it should be two braids attached to the last braid of your foundation. So this part is optional. I know some people just sew the last braid down. I just take a crochet needle and weave that braid through the rest of the others, but sewing the braid down is also effective. On this install, I chose to use a weaving cap instead of a weaving net. A weaving net has smaller holes than a weaving cap. So if you're a person that likes to access your scalp while having a sew-in, I would suggest a weaving cap versus a weaving net. 
Another pro of using the weaving cap is that it causes less tension around the perimeter of your head. Weaving nets are sewed to the anchor braids and perimeter of your hair, which could cause more tension and hair loss. So I only know of two sewing techniques, and that's underhand and overhand. Here, I'm using the underhand technique where I'm taking the needle under the weft and pulling it through the top of the weft versus overhand technique where you're inserting the needle from the top of the weft and pulling it through the bottom. To attach or to start a new bundle, I like to take my needle all the way through the weft first and then sew through the braid. That way I have complete control of where exactly I'm placing the track. And as the style gets older, this prevents the thread from actually popping.
I doubled the weft until I got to the last three tracks. So instead of cutting the weft, I used the flip or fold over method. I used the last track that will be placed here for a color reference when I dye my leave out. It was later installed after the video. Oh my god y'all, so I actually love this install. I was scared to do a color even with my leave out or having my whole head one different color. And it has grown on me. I've gotten so many compliments and I was just like, wow, I actually think this is my color. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we are almost to 500 subscribers, guys. 500. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and sticking with me this far. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to my channel for more content. And as always, don't forget to talk to me in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.